it's Monday in week two of the Angels vlog, and it being Monday, that means it's Katie today! Yay! Yay. Okay, so today's topic, well actually this week's topic, is um, how we all became interested in Japan and Japanese culture and everything. So, since I'm starting, here I go! <laughs> okay. So basically, my earliest interest in um, Japan or the Japanese culture and whatnot was um, actually the Japanese character for Rain. Um, my grandma showed it to me when I was really little, like three, and she showed me how to write it, and I was obsessed with it, and I wrote it on everything because I thought it was really cool, and I thought it was cool how it looked like an umbrella with rain. Um, so that was my actual first thing. It wasn't until the seventh grade, when I was about 12, that I really got into the culture and stuff like that. Um, I had a pen pal from Singapore who introduced me to Japanese music, and it started with Betty's Kobo's Semi. And then I got introduced through her to Otsukai and her song Superman. And Sensu. And I really, really loved all of those songs. And yeah, so that was the start of my love of Japanese music. And around the same time, my best friend at school was really into manga and anime and stuff. So she introduced me to that. And the first manga I ever read was Planet Ladder, which was really weird and creepy. And <laughs> it's really weird. And then my second manga was Fruits Basket. And it's still my favorite manga ever, and I really love it. I think probably any girl who has ever been into romantic manga has read that and loved it, so that shouldn't be a surprise to you, but um, it's my number one favorite manga, so yeah. After that, I never really got that much into anime, but I really, really loved Studio Ghibli, as I already mentioned, and the first movie I watched was Tonari no Totoro, <laughs> and it's still my favorite movie ever, so yeah. There is the start of that. <laughs> top two favorite things um, right now are, well, clearly music, um, but also dramas. And the way I got into Japanese dramas, that was sort of just on my own. I kind of discovered them through watching anime and stuff like that. Um, and the first drama I ever watched, I watched in my freshman year of high school when I was 14 years old. And it was Nobuta wo Produce. And it was really cute, and I really liked Yawapi. And then the second drama I watched was Hanayori Dango. And then after that, I was just completely addicted. And yeah. And Hanadan was what introduced me to Arashi. Except I didn't become obsessed with them until three years later. But anyway. So there's that. Yeah, I've always loved to sing, so when I first discovered Japanese music, I knew I really wanted to learn how to sing it, but I didn't know how to pronounce Japanese, so I just practiced and practiced on my own a lot. And the song I practiced with was Okazaki Ritsuko's Four Fruits Basket. song to Fruits Basket, the opening, and I really loved it, it was really pretty, and I, with the day that I figured out how to sing it, I was really, really happy, so I learned how to play the piano to it and everything, and that sort of started everything, so, well, yes, okay, so that is how I got into the Japanese culture and etc, etc, and, yeah, and now I'm actually studying the language, and, I have posters all over my room that have Japanese people on them. And there's a Japanese person in my room! There's a Japanese person in my room! Look! Look! See? See? It's awesome! <laughs> Anywho, that's that. That is the start of week two. And look forward to all the other girls explanations of how they got into the culture as well. And if you have any suggestions as to what kind of topics we should talk about or if you have any challenges for us or anything like that, let us know in the comments or you know send us a message or something like that. 
Um, just get in contact with us somehow, and we'll definitely consider anything you send us, unless it's super creepy, so. <laughs> okay. See you next week! Bye!